What's going on guys, it's Jordan back today with today's first video. And in today's first video, I'm super excited to make a video on why Tron could be reaching that five cents mark before most of us can even think it's possible. So if that sounds good to you guys, you guys are new to the channel and today's um, like today's content, make sure you smack that subscribe button down below. Now we're not gonna waste any time jumping into the video today. Um, so as you guys can see here, I originally had this as a um, symmetrical triangle, but after we got this touch and where we got rejected from, it now looks like that on the longer term daily time frame, we could just be in this ascending triangle, which you guys know is typically a bullish pattern. Now we're gonna take a look at the measured move of this uh, uh, bullish ascending triangle pattern. You guys can probably guess where that is based on the title of this video. But you can see right now, we just wicked up to it. And you can see the last couple times we retested the top here, we usually tend to pull back pretty quickly, right? We went up here and we pulled back, right up here, pulled, right up here, pulled, right up here, wicked back down. This time you wicked back down, but we're just staying right here. So this is pretty bullish to me. You can see our 50 day and 200 day moving averages are holding us as support. You guys know I like to hold those as support in a bull market. And we've been holding that as support since we had that bullish cross here back in July, right, of last year. And it's been our support band. You guys can see we either wicked down to the 50 day moving average or to the 200 day each time. And that is slowly moving up now into the triangle. So a, break, a breakout is coming very, very soon. And I think it's going to be coming within the next couple of days. Now I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, we're just gonna reject off the top of the resistance here and just retest the bottom of this. So that is definitely a possibility. Bitcoin's pulling it back a little bit right now. So don't rule out the possibility of a retest to the bottom of the triangle here. But if we do continue to break out, and that's a big if, our measured move out of this ascending triangle, right, from our top to our bottom of the ascending triangle here, and we measure move that from, say we'll break out right there, you can see our measure move is all the way up here at about 53 cents. So that could be our medium term target there because you can see how big this ascending triangle is. We've been in this since August. We've been talking about this for months now and it, it's coming to, you know, it, it, we got to make a move soon. We do really have to make a move soon. That 50 day moving average is creeping up on us. We're getting continuous support. We're going to look at in this next chart. We have a smaller ascending triangle pattern forming in um, inside this bigger one. So we're going to look at that next and why I think we're going to get a move. I'm going to give you guys two reasons why we're going to get a move very, very soon. But I just first wanted to show you this measured move breakout. And this is where we would break out to if we did break up to the upside. But guys, like I said, if we continue, if we continue to get a rejection here, a downside retest of either the 50 day moving average or the 200 day moving average somewhere in between that is the likely case right? So don't rule that out of a downwards price action as well. But switching on to the four hour guys, we are actually in on the four hour. If you zoom out, you can see where we are here. We're actually forming a smaller ascending triangle as well. You can see we wicked up to this um, now three times here. And we have a, a continued support line forming here as well. And this needs to break by technically the morning of February 10th. So by three days, this needs to break either to the upside or or to the downside. You guys know ascending triangles are typically bullish patterns, and this is just reason number one of why I think we're gonna go to the upside here. So redrawing that because I decided to erase it. Um, sometimes I got those big fingers, I decided to erase things, but um, our measure move breakout out of this, right? If you go to top to bottom here, our measure move breakout of this is somewhere along the lines of about 43 cents, which would break us clearly out of this big ascending triangle and continue to push us towards our longer term target of about 53, uh, sorry, about 5.3 cents. I know I said 53 cents, but about 5.3 cents. So guys, 4.3 cents out of this short term ascending triangle and 5.3 cents out of this longer term ascending triangle. So that's just reason number one of why we are getting bullish. There's not really much in the RSI to say we're going to go up to the bottom. Um, but if we break out to the bottom, um, normally the measured move or the target of a downwards breakout of a triangle is just your original support. 
So probably down there if you do end up breaking down over the short term. So that's just reason number one why Tron is going to be going up to 50, uh, I'm sorry, to 5 cents. I am so focused on the 50 cents. I think it's because I made a Stellar Lumens video. Anyways, um, looking at this on the weekly chart, right? And this is another reason why. So this is the, obviously the weekly chart. This is the ascending triangle. The bigger one we are on the weekly chart looks small in the weekly chart, right? But you can see we're getting that bullish divergence. Look at this guys, lower lows on the RSI, higher lows in price action. And that's pushing us up here. And this should really be a continuation to the upside. This is absolutely a huge indicator on why we should be going up based on this can see why this area is a tough area for us to break. You can see this area right here was our major resistance in the bull market, right? There's a little dead cat bounce right there and ours a resistance back here, right? So so th this is, sorry, I just got a text how to look at it real quick. This is why this is so such an important level. So um, guys, we are coiling up for a huge move on Tron. I hope you guys understand how big this is. Um, I, I don't want you guys to get carried away and throw all your money in this because it is always possible to retest in the short term, the triangle to the downside. But based on the weekly divergence going on here, based on the uh, shorter term ascending triangle, which is typically a bullish pattern, and the measured move of that all the way up here at 4.3 cents, which would in turn break us out of this bigger term tri um, ascending triangle on the daily, all has me to believe that a major move is coming very, very soon for Tron. We also have to watch the volume profile here on the daily. If we can get a daily close above somewhere around this yellow line, that would have me very, very confident that we are going to break out of this ascending triangle. But we also need to see a heavy green volume spike. See the last two times we broke that level, we had very, very high volume spikes. One here, you can see that one, and one here as well. So look for a heavy, heavy, big green candle to the upside that would confirm our breakout out of this longer term ascending triangle. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today on Tron. If you guys did and you guys did enjoy it and are new to the channel, make sure you smack that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my two videos that I upload every single day to the channel. And also I live stream every single day to you guys as well. So don't miss out on any of that content. You don't want to miss out. All right. For, and for all you guys that watch me every single day, I appreciate you guys. We're coming up on 10,000 subscribers. Thank you all for all you guys that have been here since the beginning for me and watch every single one of my videos and smack that like button on all my videos and streams. So I'll see you guys in a little bit in today's second video. Make sure you guys look out for that. Peace.